I have the best job in the world. I love the ocean. I grew up around the ocean, fishing and diving with friends and family. I started doing yotaku because it was the best way to preserve the memories we made and our best catches. What's up guys, my name is Brandon Onaka. I'm from the big island of Hawaii and I'm a gyotaku artist. Gyotaku is a Japanese fish printing art form. It started in the 1800s before the invention of cameras. It was a way to commemorate prize catches. And the cool thing about it is that it uses the actual fish to make the impression. So all of the ridges and the scales and details are genuine and come from the fish itself. I kind of like the fact that not every Gyotaku print is perfect. Every Gyotaku print is unique. Even if you were to try and make two prints from one fish, there's no way that it would be exactly the same. So in that sense, everyone is an original. As I'm like prepping the fish to get it printed, I'm thinking about, you know, the placement of the fish on the paper. Is it gonna be on black paper? Is it gonna be on white paper? You know, the um, consistency of the paint. Those are all things that I consider. Going through the gyotaku process definitely taught me a lot of patience and precision. There's certain key elements of a fish that you really need to hit to make it look lifelike. Just turn this way. Right there, right there. A little bit this way. Got right there, right there. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. I'm just so grateful to wake up every day and do something that I love doing and also something that brings other people joy. The gyotaku prints I do, they could be a personal best catch, they could be a cherished memory with a loved one or a friend, and it's something that they'll remember every time they see the gyotaku. Just catching an ulua in general is a milestone for a lot of people. And this is a 101 pound ulua, which is like a, definitely a once in a lifetime kind of fish. I was lucky though, this is the fifth 100 pound and over ulua I've got to print in the last two years. So I'm always stoked to get that on my printing table. My favorite fish to print are the weird ones, the ones that people didn't know even existed. That's a question I get a lot is should I do it on black paper, should I do it on white paper? I think that personally on white paper is more traditional and it tends to come out more realistic looking. Opposed to black paper there's more of a pop in terms of color. The black paper also gives more of like a kind of illustration animated look but it all comes down to personal preference. I have a lot of respect for the ocean. Every fish that is printed here is never wasted. The paint washes off with water to ensure that the fisherman enjoys it as a meal, while the print will be enjoyed as art forever. My goal as an artist is to never stop improving my craft. I see every gyotaku I do as a learning experience and potential to be better tomorrow than I was today. I've been doing gyotaku for 10 years now, but I still get excited to wake up and do it every day. It's something I love doing, it's something I'm passionate about, and it's something I hope I can always continue doing. And I'm excited to see what my future holds.